Hi Susan, welcome to my channel. Today I'm making this. I've stuck it in the journal. I'm using it as a um, belly band. I decided it could be a tuck spot belly band, anything like that. Big things are better under it than the little things. Okay, it's quite flat, so it won't bulk your journal too much. I don't want to bulk this one up too much because the spine is about that big. <laughs> So I'm trying to do flat things in this journal, okay, yeah. I might do another one of these. I mean, you can make them, must make these actually, ready to put in your journal. That's got to stick down a bit better. Right, must make them to put in your journals. Um, I've done a uh, waterfall notebook there. Is it waterfall? I think that's right. And then a little thing here with a, a pocket inside, okay. I do actually forget to film halfway through, but I do re do go through the pocket again with you. Okay, because it's rather sweet, isn't it? It's rather sweet. Yeah. Nice. Right, okay. Rather beautiful pocket. Oh yeah, and I've just stuck my one of my journaling cards in there as well. As a bit of fun. There we go. Yeah. So this is how I tie so I do hope you like my content today please give me a thumbs up that'd be absolutely amazing please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much and then I've just tied this bow Right then, guess what I did? I deleted the first half of my video, so I've got to refilm. So yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it's nice and glass. Yeah, look, can you hear it? Glass. It's. Um, I'm gonna do it on. A, I'm doing it on a different thing anyway, so this is slightly different. I'm doing the boring bit first. This is what I did on the last on the video that, that I deleted. Fancy deleting it? I don't know how because I didn't even select it. Honest, I must have selected, but I didn't know how. Right, so I'm going to do is pat these a little bit, okay, so that so they come to be absolutely um, flush. Right, this is one of those. I think it's waterfall, aren't they? These, and these are these are actually digital old paper, but you can do tie dye, tie dye, tie dye. What's that? Tea dye. I meant really. I'm just putting this at the top here, at the top of these. So this is four inches by two and a half. That's by two and three quarters, three inch, three and a quarter, uh, three and a half, three and three quarters and four inches. OK, so, yeah, that's right. I did it right. I did it all correct. Present and correct. There we go. All right. So let's get this. Now. So I'm going to put one of these and <laughs> these on. OK, a uh, clip. It's, an, it's a sewing clip, isn't it? So I'm going to put some staples in this. OK, so mini staples doesn't matter. You don't have to be mini because they're going to hide them. Well, I'm going to hide them. You might not even want to. You can probably just, you can do your own thing. You don't have to do anything that I do. Okay. What's the second one? I had to put some. Uh... Yeah, so you have to pat it and everything. Just make sure it gets into the correct, because if you've cut it on a cutter, it will be, it should be good. Okay, good to go. That's supposed to be a different, but uh, yeah, I'm just doing it at speed and it's supposed to be alternate, but never mind, alternate dark and light. Never mind. I'm doing the bit here later, okay? It's the, it's, I'm going to put some of this on, but that's later, okay? And I've, I've got a good, good method of doing it, um, as I discovered. <laughs> On my previous video, I thought, "What's well, a good idea? I did it. I did it perfectly." So now we're going to make some doors. Right, I'll, I'll actually show you this. Okay, so what I'm going to do: these are two and a half by four inch. Okay, approx. I mean, it might be slightly different. Right, so I'm going to. You can actually do them like this. So you can take. You can fold them at a half an inch here, and have them perfectly aligned there. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to take off an inch either side, leaving in one and a half inches here and here, and because I'm going to do a pretty thing in the middle there. Yay! How about that? No, yeah, you can do that if you like. You can, or you can, you can, you know, make it 
as arty as you like but I'm doing a pretty thing today so I'm going to actually um, yeah you, this is not the ideal it's quite cheap this thing was you know but it's it's you know it's about six pounds or something so <laughs> quite cheap so I'm actually scoring that at that and this side you can score it the same and turn it upside down but I'm going to score it at one inch this side okay is that right have I done that yeah dad I'll just have to turn it so if you've got directional paper just make sure you are going doing the right oh that look oh, that's part of that look. oh that's like quite good really isn't it I like that I'm going to try and keep that that side and that that side yeah I didn't realize <laughs> yeah of course it is yeah yeah, I've just cut them in, cut it in half. Anyway, uh, hopefully it is clear as mud how to uh, do this now. Yeah, all right. Okay, so I'm going to fasten that on. And I think you have to fasten it on first. Look, I've got a bit of um, thingy there, haven't I? So I'm just going to ink that up. To get rid of that white. Might be at the top as well, yeah. Doesn't matter about the back because you're not seeing the back at all. That side's fine, so what's happening there? I don't know. So I'm going to glue that on just the back, okay? And yes, I keep if you keep seeing my jumper, it's um, my lovely, lovely thick jumper because this room is like a it's like a fridge, usually. Yeah, so I'm gonna put that on there. I'm gonna make it flush with the bottom. Got to flush your bottom, yeah. <laughs> How are we going to do that? I don't know. Um, I've got this. This actually spreads glue. So that's brilliant, isn't it? Very good. Look at that spreading that glue. And then it sometimes does seep out there, but luckily it hasn't. I'm going to do it again. Okay. And. Um, Right, so what I'm going to do now is actually make some of this for this. I, don't, I haven't got enough room there, so I need like eight inches of it or something like that. I'll show you um, what I've done on another project, which is an alternative idea. It's quite tough actually to do this. Anyway, what I've got to do is make sure it's best to do it with this stuck down, believe it or not. I mean, it is. You could do it before, but then you, you've got to make sure that this isn't going to interfere with each other. It's best if um, you've got sort of a gap between rather than those two to overlap when you do them both sides. Which I will tell you again. Right, I've got to find out whether we are, where we are. Have I done that? That looks wrong, doesn't it? I must have gone over that twice. I might use it again. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, does it? But I just want to make sure it's sort of correct. So, yeah, I think if I get rid of those two little holes there, I think that would be about right. If it's slightly too small, I might cut these down as I did last time. Huh? Wait a minute, just to make sure I get the right ones. Right, okay, so that one and now let's cut. I'm going to cut here actually. Make sure I get the whole thing. I've got to cut that little bit off there. Okay, so I'm leaving those little holes on for now at the edges just to see if we're. Yeah. And I cut this one about the same. It doesn't matter. I'm going to. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to cut them the same. Okay, and. It doesn't end up perfectly flush because you're moving it about all over the place. I suppose if you took your time really well, unlike me, you can get this absolutely perfect. But I just let my junk journal perfect and that's fine, fine by me. I think that might do for the top actually. Yep, that'll do for the top. So we've, got, we've done it all. Don't need that bit because that bit's got a bend in it. Okay, so what I mean is... You want one side, one side and one the other. Okay, and you don't want it to overlap like that. You want it either to have a gap or just touching. Okay. 
which I will try and do on camera. Okay. So let's have a look, see how we do. Yeah, so that definitely needs to be removed, doesn't it? So I'm going to take those off there. I'll take it off to the to the hole and see. That's going to get that straight if as straight as possible. Okay, so that's still too big. Yeah, it is. I'm going to cut the hole in half now. Half. Oh, I've cut more than half off, <laughs> but hey, let's have a look. That'll do. Actually, that will do. I'll leave it like that. And then we're going to move those little bits that's... Yeah, come on. Come on, dears. Out the way, dears. That's it. Yeah, we don't need you now, I'm afraid. And I'm going to see if that's the same. It wasn't last time. It's actually different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it is actually the same. <laughs> it's unusual, isn't it? Right, get my big scissors. I'm going to cut that almost that hole there almost off. There's a little hole at the edge of each of each little, and I'm going to cut that almost off. Okay, then that, that seemed to be about the right size, didn't it? Yeah. So I need that to be there. Let me have a look. So I'm going to check now how we're doing. Okay. Yes, this is how you do designs, you know. I'm going to try and get that perfect there. I didn't last time, so hopefully I will this. <laughs> yeah, do you know that that's good, isn't it? Actually, that is a little bit. So I can afford to move that little tiny bit over that way. If you check, you can see, if you remember how far away it is from there, you could actually glue it down now. Some of them are a bit higher than others. That's my fault. But if I check that middle one there and the end one there has that um, showing, we can do it, can't we? Yeah. And it doesn't matter how much you glue on here because I've got a little plan. How much? Uh, I mean, how much level of how much of that is on there? Because I've got a little plan. Right, so let's see if that's about right. Yeah, so if I move that slightly up there. Ooh. See, it's just slightly different, so it does. I don't think it matters. It's just slightly different where um, that is. I mean, some of these are sort of like that one's quite a, way, a long way from the edge there. And that one's not, so yeah, fine. So what you could do then is put it there like that where you want it to be, then glue that side again. Hopefully, and then we'll move those little bits of extras that are trying to creep on. Yeah, they're in there, look. Yeah, see these here? Yeah, they should move before they get glued. Right, and then I'm going to get my glue cloth because that's got that's gone over the top and I don't want any shiny glue showing through. No shiny glue in my project. No. <laughs> Attempt anyway. It doesn't always work, does it? No. Right, so that is our perfect that, yeah. Right, so now I'm going to get some washi tape. Oh, look. <laughs> that's not very... Yeah, that's not very, that's not cut straight, but I'm not look. We're not the chunk journal perfect. We're fine. Right, um, I don't think anybody's going to examine our things, are they? Right, I just need some tape. I think it was this one I used. It's in my journal already. It's the one that you'll see at the end <laughs> because obviously I'm going to only going to film so far this one. Yeah, so that one can go like that. Yeah, do you think I'm going to film the whole lot when I've got some already? No. Um, I could actually, what I could do, I suppose, is cut that straight. If I want to. I'm just going to cut that, see how far it goes. I suppose what you could do is <laughs> slice the whole thing off so it looks nice. Um, or 
another alternative, of course. Actually, I could have moved that little bit down, couldn't I? But no, 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 no. That needs cutting off. I did the other one a lot better than this, I'll tell you. Even though I had to cut it off. We don't get bits of wood. Yeah, so that's perfect. Junk journal perfect, isn't it? And then, of course, where's my scissors going round in a circle? And then, of course, you can... Um, it's quite good, this glass. I'm not used to it yet, this glass mat. Things will happen that I've never seen before, like that. those scissors going round in a circle and stuff. Or half a circle, whatever it was. Right, I'll say that. And then we can... We can do the other side, yeah, but I have, which I thought I'd done. Okay, oh... Ah, yeah, that's a point, yes. I'm just thinking about this this um, line here because I've got a gap there. I've done it there. Because of the bend of the paper, so I might leave a gap and we'll see what we do with that. Okay, so... Yeah, it's absolutely perfect, the other one, as you know. Right, um, we'll have to get rid of that bit of thing there, yeah. I'm going to get rid of this because it's it's annoying, isn't it? Yeah, very annoying, yeah. Right, what I'm going to do, um, will that actually bend? If that gets a no, no, that's not too bad at all, but what if it isn't? What you can do is get something like a crayon and just colour it in. Yeah. Or I suppose you could bend it back and ink it up. But I think that's a good enough job, isn't it? Yep, I suppose you can do that. So that's that done. Okay, and now I'm going to do the bit. Yep. I can use this actually, can't I, for this? That's if it's, I don't think I used a different one last time. <laughs> cut that one. Yep, cut two of these. Yep, that's it. It's done it. It's just to look, pretending it hadn't. Right, so now I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape, okay, three, three millimetre one. Okay, I've got to find it. Right, so I've found this one instead, okay, I've got, I don't know where it went, that one I had earlier, but this will do. So it's just a thin piece of um, tape. Now I used my Pritt stick last time, which is here. Because this is <laughs> this is permanent glue as well, so yeah. Pritz, this Brit sticks permanent glue, is that okay? Well, that's used for kids quite a lot. But to say it does say it is water. It it wash it's washable to twenty degrees C, and you don't wash paper, do you? So I'm taking that as permanent, and it will glue fabric. Okay, not that we're gluing fabric today, of course. There we go. I'm just going to put that there. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned, because I'm not sure which, which part I mentioned her in, but I'm just talking about... Um, so if I mentioned you twice, Debbie. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. Cause you're going to be, I probably have two mentions, I don't know. Cause I'm not sure, sure which half, because obviously I'm refilming this first half of this project. So I do hope, Debbie... Enjoys watching my channel. She said she's going to binge watch my stuff. The lady who I swapped my journal with last time. So, but I'm going to put this on here like that, yeah, like that. Carefully along the edge because it looks really nice. And the other one, I think, I don't know, I don't know, we can, you can use any, I think. But that one, the other one, I did have a, a proper, that colour in it with gold and it was brilliant. I'm looking. Yeah, so you have to. What you have to do is actually um, 
make it look professional, make it look it was supposed to be like that. That's some very dodgy bit of washi tape coming through there. And I'm going to do this side as well now. I've got, oh yeah, I've got, I've done them both, have I? Oh, I've done them both, it's fine. Okay, so just get rid of this one. And I'll show you what we're doing with that, because I don't like the idea of, I'll tell you what I don't like the idea of in a minute, when we've got rid of all the bits, is having the, the thread that we're going to put through here and having to take it out every time we open this i'm not having that i don't like it i'm not going to do it i'm not i'm not going to do it <laughs> yeah so i'm going to have to well, turn that over because it's the same both sides really there's not much difference look at this it's quick because it because the lid hasn't been on i've had to you know what we'll do we'll do that and hopefully that will help I'm going to put it around the same place, if possible. I'm using that as the guide there, that little flowery thing. Hopefully that one. And you can put eyelets on if you like, of course. But I'm not using eyelets, you know. Just using my eyelet thing to do it with. That's it. If it decides to play ball, because it did last time. Uh, eventually okay let's get that let's just see if I can find the edge of it I think it's there -ish. yeah that'll do it's in the middle somewhere isn't it as long as it's in within that circle we're fine because you're not gonna see why is that not well, this is what happened last time it wasn't what well, it should be in there we go can we see that okay I'm hoping I'm showing you okay because I, normally I can tip my camera up that way a bit but it won't do it. Right, so now I'm going to get 8 inches of this. I can measure it doing this, not that one. You probably don't need 8 inches, you probably need about 6 but I say 8 inches just to be on the safe side. I'm getting my fabric scissors which cut this. I do quite, sometimes I try cutting this with um, non-fabric scissors, the one that's been cut in paper, but it just leaves a raggy mess. <laughs> so I've decided to put these in my scissor drawer over this side. Okay, so that's where they are at the moment. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now, instead of, instead of threading them through, you know, leaving it together and threading, because I don't like that, I don't know why Sandy does that. So I've got this idea of Sandy, um, not this idea, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a copy of one of her projects, but it was inspired by one of her projects. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to use this. This is also good for fabric glue as, as well. Okay, so I'm just putting that on there. Just at the edge, like that, yep. Yeah. You could staple it on, I suppose. But then you've got to, well, you don't have to hide the staples, I suppose. Um, it would actually hide, but I think you'd staple it on before you do this, and then you'd have to thread that through. That, yeah, if you see what I mean, and then stick it on, which you couldn't, it couldn't be done. I'm sure it could. Or is that a hairbrained scheme? <laughs> no, me as I do, it's hairbrained scheme. There we go. But I think actually, I do think it would work. Woodwork, there we go, woodwork. Right, so I'm going to use the same as I did last time. Now I'm going to grab, where are they, my bits? I've just had all my um, coloured pieces of paper out. Uh, shall we use, just to use a piece, oh yeah, look like that, oh. Shall have a nice, pretty, blossomy, this is blossom, um, this is what I just grabbed earlier to use as my, um, Hidey thing. This is going to hide the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, where are you? Are you still in? It's still in there then. That's it. Yeah. It wouldn't be coaxed out at all. So I've got to, had to really, really have a good go at coaxing that out. There we go. So I'm going to have those pretty marbly bits. That's my marbling paper. Did it in this? Well, probably October actually. One check this. 
think it was October I did it. I was going to say in the summer, but I know it's October. That's autumn in the UK. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to say, why is it looking so pale? That's because it's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> that's the side you glue. Yeah, I'm going to let them roll it out in a minute. Well, can we see this, this side? Yeah. Give it a bit of a burnish. There we go. You don't have to use that bright colour there. You can use green, obviously. Right, so what am I doing now? I've done that, done that, done that. I think I've done everything, haven't I, on this. Um, the only thing I'll do is actually put something heavy on it because at the moment it won't close. It will do eventually if it's been in a journal for a while. But it currently won't close. Then I'm right then, so this is what I was going to show you. I have um, corner rounded this with a deco punch, so it's not quite a corner round, round, it's a little bit of a decorative. And then I've added this slightly different one there. So you could do that as well, that's an option, isn't it? Rather than do it like, oops, I'm, I'm showing you too high, rather than doing it like that. Obviously very similar, this is a, like the original Septeria 18. Also, I'll show you how to make the little pocket because the other bit's quite easy. If you've got the things you can use, different things you don't have to use. I've got, of course. Right, so I use this piece of paper as an example. I have um, actually got this, yeah, that's yeah, I was just about to show you that bit. I can show you that bit in a minute when I've done it. Right, so it is uh, five and a half by. Okay, so it's five and a half by four. I was spending ages wondering this is actually mine has actually got brown on the other side. This one hasn't. But anyway, I've decided to do half an inch. Okay, down here. Oh dear, that's not very. And a half an inch here. Okay. Just doing rounding the corners at the top. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do the um. So at the bottom here. So what? It's going to flip up. I'm going to do it two inches or two inches. Yeah, that's that. That's right. <laughs> There we go. So I'm just cutting these out, okay. And you can put washi tape to back it if you like. like I did on my, I did it on mine because it has actually got a brown interior. But I did that because oh yeah, I can do another one because they're so nice. I love these pockets. Yeah, so I used this one. That was big enough. Okay, so this is wide washi tape. You can put a couple of layers on it if you like because you probably might get different. Um, yeah, I've got bookworm on that one actually, that's hilarious. Right, so, so like that. And then you would just cut round it. I mean, I'm going to have to cut the top off this, I think. That's very good, isn't it? Not very good knot. Yeah, very good knot, I mean. So there we go. Yeah, you can you can do uh, fancy corners and all sorts. Yeah, I did fancy corners on my one I was going to do, but I've decided to put this in my journal because I'm doing things to go in journals rather than things for happy mails. Okay, you can make this for somebody's journal, couldn't you as well? Right, so that will go like that. Okay, so I've cut that like that. Fold these in. Very carefully, you know, no, no rushing about, just to fold them very carefully. Yeah, so then you can do that. Glue them. Glue them. Attempt to glue them inside as well. Yeah, that's right, all that. 
I, I mentioned, oh yeah, my Pritt stick, yeah, there was, a, I, there was a sort of like a little jibe about Pritt stick, Pritt stick, so uh, every time I see this you definitely think UK, <laughs> but this is actually permanent because it's actually um, washable to 20 degrees C and obviously that's fabric. So obviously it isn't, uh, it can't really be. So what I've done then is cut out two inches of um, this sort of little paper here, two inch circles that is, and stuck it to two of these. One goes on there like this, and I've inked it up with a um, marker actually, and the butterfly as well, and then the Stuck the butterfly on top of the circle, etc. You can add extra extra patterns on that if you like. So it does look a bit, I think mine looks a bit boring. Right, okay. And then what did I do? What did I do? Yes, it was very nice, very pretty. So I've put those, cut that into quarters. Two of them go here. So one there, one there. Okay, and the others. So I've bent it round. You don't see that bit. Excuse me, but I, I need to uh, get on. Thank you. And then you put these on here. And just for fun here. You don't have to do any of this. You can do what you like. You can. You've got your own. Might have your own little ideas. But I think that's quite cute, isn't it? Um, these doily things I like. This is my favourite doily one. Um, this one of these die cuts. I was going to show you as well, but I don't know where it is. I don't know where it's gone. I have got a thing, a magnet on there. And I said to myself, I must put that back on there because then I will know where it is. And guess what? I haven't. So that's why it's not there. Yeah. I haven't got it on. I am running this, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a bit quicker now I've done it like this. Yeah, I mean, less messing about. Right, yeah, this is a bit short. This side, for some reason, is a bit shorter than that. So that's junk journal perfect, as I said. Right, am I, have I got that about the same? So that needs to really be up there a bit. Yeah, it's going, it's going. Right, okay, so now I've done that. So, okay, that can actually go into your, into your, no, actually it goes into mine. You can put what, you can put it in yours in yours and I'll put mine in mine. I think that's a good idea. And that will go there like that. Okay, I've got another one somewhere. That might be prettier to go in here. I don't know where they are. Where have I put them all? Ah, there it is. So I've got this version as well, which I think is mega pretty, isn't it? Mega pretty, yeah. So that can, we can do all sorts. And that will done those as well, haven't I? Little um, flower shapes to go in there and there as well as there. As there. I could have put those on there as well. So you can leave it if you like. So I might leave that for speed, but I'm just showing you what you can do. You can add. You can take away. You can add. Okay, you can add and take away as if you want to do a bit of arithmetic, <laughs> whatever you like. There we go. Yeah, you can do it to yourself and just go to yourself. Five minus four equals one. Yeah, and all that. Yeah, you can do all that, can't you? Yeah. So, and then you can use that as a tuck spot, etc., which I'm going to do here. Little bits of ephemera, secret little places, and all sort. Okay, so there, there we go. How about that? And then, do you know what I like to do at first? Right, this will go in the journal, okay? But I've got to put that on, haven't I? Yeah. Shall we do that next? Or you could even use these. I was thinking about using two or three of these, but I've only got two, actually. What are these for? I've got these for a reason, the green ones. I can't remember what I was going to do. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to actually put them on here, wasn't I? I was going to put them on there, which I might do. That's quite nice. But then I'm going to put something on here. Let's get something. Um, yeah, let's use this. Inch punch, we need that. Is that right? Yeah, I've got several inch punches and you just can't find the one you want. You know what I mean? Like this style you want. I wanted an UK one because they seem to do very well at going in. Like this will only go in a certain amount like that much but they go in a lot more. 
so I do like that. Somebody said to me once she didn't like UK, so I thought, yeah, well that's your opinion, and I think, yeah, I think perhaps you're not correct. She probably didn't like it for a reason. Not everybody likes everything, I and mean, I can't get on with uh, Fabri-Tac. What's going on on my phone? Oh, nothing. Probably telling me to move. Yeah, let's have some bright, bright colours on this. So I'm starting to ink up now. I wasn't doing that earlier. Right, so now I'm going to do this. So I'm going to get one of those. And one of those will do. And then you can do anything you like. I should get a three quarter inch one and put a bit of glitter on it, shouldn't I? Yeah, see if I can find three quarter inch and do the glitter. Wait a minute. Yep, so what I'm going to do now is stick my glitter circle on okay three quarters of an inch good to circle on top okay i don't know what it's going to look like because i have no idea but i'm hoping it works i cut those in heart and quarter this is what how i did the other one i cut the other one in quarters like this okay so yeah So that's a good job I'm showing you again, isn't it? Yeah. Then I'm going to put these on here. Because I want a mega pretty, I don't know, I love, I like um, these things like this, lacy and stuff. And I've got, I've got a feeling not everybody's going to like these. But I do have a film, yeah. So nice, yeah. Oh, no. Sorry, I had to turn on extreme battery set. Well, I didn't actually. I have to turn on my um, things. I didn't show you that sticking that down. But there we go. That's um, so a quarter for each each corner there. Well, you don't have to do any of this, you know. You can do it like yeah, put it all sorts. But I think this is rather cute. Cutest ever, really, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm just thinking about, uh, what's her name, um, Debbie, who I sent my junk journal to. She subscribed to my channel, yay. Hopefully she's watching. Right, so, yeah, I sent my journal to Debbie and she liked it, which I, I think it's going to show. And she showed the photographs of all the arty bits, and I thought, well, I like those arty bits, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite proud of my arty bits on my journal. Right, I'm thinking, I was just going to tell you how I, first of all, uh, tie this because it's it's very loose isn't it when you it's just be left like that so what I do is stick a something heavy on it at the top there like that I actually broke my I did another one I did a very similar one once and I broke my inch punch on video yeah with that a year ago or so let me put that around like this oh dear hold on a minute hold on hold on a minute that's it that's it local is I think I think somebody said once in my um, class at in my graphic design class folders now what's a folder it's actually a folder <laughs> but that was how they said folders I think they're from Mansfield or somewhere it was the college was really close to Mansfield right so I've done that and I haven't got anything in the pocket I know that but what I'm going to do is just do the top aren't I of this Aren't I? Says I. Yeah. I might, as I say, I might do it a little bit different to what I did the other one. I don't like the looks of that. Was it green I used? Oh yeah, because it matches this. Yeah. 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 There's my spare ones in case that one went wrong. <laughs> so I'm just going to fold half an inch over or something like that. Oh, where is my thing? What's that? Right, look at me carefully moving that out of the way, yeah. Right, let's get that on there. Uh, half an inch or so-ish. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think I did the other one three quarters of an inch, but I think I'm not too, I wasn't too keen, actually. 
I'm just going to stick it to the back and and uh, just the top I think rather than mess about or should we have should we have a hole one like that let's cut that hole off same as the other one that seemed to work didn't it for four inches but I don't know perhaps I'm going to be wrong <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> this have to be lopsided, won't it? Right, let's have a look. Um, yeah, it is very slightly out, isn't it? Uh, we might know, might we? It's here-ish. Unless I... No, I don't think I could do that. Um, I'm going to do it to there. <laughs> it is slightly out. Or oh, what we could do, I suppose... Um, oh no, in, wait a minute. That's too long. No, it isn't. That's right. Yeah, and I'll tell you what I didn't do on the other ones as well. I didn't push it down enough. Yeah, that'll do, won't it? That's fine. I will have to do it like that because I've done it that long now. So Just I'm doing it from trying to be quick, you see. And you, can, you can measure yours. Oh, look, I'm getting glue on my new... You do not get glue. You do not glue on here, okay, like this it's very naughty and you get glue on your uh, scoreboard and we don't you don't do that I've got glue all over my big scoreboard I notice other people do as well I thought yeah I do that there we go right I do it too yeah I think I've done a bit better because I didn't feel right so what I'm going to do now perhaps is just glue under there a little bit now, I'm going to make sure it's far enough down yeah like that Okay, and then I'm going to glue that, and then you, what you could do is pin it. Oh, I tell you what, I tell you what else works very well. See, this covers up the staples. You don't have to cover up the staples, you might not want the staples covered up. This works very well as well. Using one of these across here, that works well, usually. Says I, hopefully. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think, yeah. Right, so I'm thinking whether that will do it. Yeah, you don't really notice that's different, do you? Right, so there, that's the end, basically, of it, what it is. I can see if I can find something to put in the pocket just for a demo. I've also got that, don't forget, tuck spot. I've got the writing things, okay? I mean, you can do them all arty and rough, if you like, but I did that for speed. I think it takes a little bit longer, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, <laughs> That looks wrong, doesn't it? It's the wrong time of year, dear. Now it's too long anyway. Um, so that's that one. Uh, yeah, uh, arty. Uh, we've got... Is that too... It don't matter because it's not going to bend, is it? not actually going to bend. I mean, that's slightly... I, mean, I could, If I wanted to, I could cut that bit off. It's a, it's a nice little journal. A bit bright, isn't it? A bit, a bit Valentine's Day. There's another one. Different style, yeah, different one. Journaling card, you can do anything like that. Anything you like. There's one of my little trees, yeah. I'd like to do that on one video, but it is actually, I did actually get the yeah, cop. I followed somebody else's video and did that. That's just a... I followed somebody else's little video. And another one. Hmm. Let's have a look what else we can put in there. There's a bigger version of that one. Yeah. That fits, and it? We'll use that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a um, A4, really, but I've just made it into a really small one. Yeah, that's very nice. Isn't it? Yeah, and I could... I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I'm going to um, just grab a thing that'll do this will do whatever this is i'm do some antennae on my butterfly there we go and i suppose i can do a bit of extras that could be classed as doodling so yeah so i'm just doing the few lines here yeah and then we can do our little body there our mine not really <laughs> yours will probably be different <laughs> right there we go 
uh, get out like that. That'll do, won't it? And you can do all sorts. You can add some dots and things if you like. I don't know anything. Yeah, because I think that looks a bit um, plain, doesn't it? Well, it did, doesn't now? Right, so there we go. So that's all done now, isn't it? I have to move my scoreboard because guess what? Yeah, it's always in the way. It's always in the way. That's it. Let's put that on there. We'll put tie our little bow. I'm going to put it in my journal actually, show you. I don't know if you could use it as a belly band. I mean, I've used a, I did a Christmas tree belly band for my Christmas tree journal. I did, in fact, I did two. Because there's one on video and one is a prototype. Yeah, they're both in there. I'm not sure if that's a cup of tea time in a minute. Could be. Could be. Could be, could be, could could be. I've had to tie the bow as well, yeah. There we go. You can always just do, don't have to take it as, you know, as red, whatever. But it has to be like that, just because you've tied it like that, you can adjust them. <laughs> right, I'm going to have a look in my quick, quickly. Where's my journal -y thingy? Yeah, this will fit. This is eight inches. This will fit in this journal. Okay. That's the page, because I've covered it with... I think it was plain white. I just covered it with washi tape. Yeah, so that will fit in there. So you've got to play. You, know, you can you can mass make these and and um, if you like, I'm not sure whether I'm going to make that into a tuck spot or a belly band. I think things would stay under there if you use it as a belly band, wouldn't it? The very ornate belly. I'm going to make what I'm going to do is actually do quite a thick top and quite a thick bottom. Okay, nice thick top and thick bottom, but like me, uh, <laughs> my, my, my top's thicker than my bottom. <laughs> well, unfortunately, yeah, that's not very good, is it? Really, it's supposed to be the other. I think if you get it, yeah, my friend's got a lovely slim waist and she's got a big bum. Oh, the other way around, I've got fat waist. Yeah, that's it. That. Right, so let's see. Let's that there. Yeah. So now what you do now is push it down nicely. I've got to say thanks to our card. So let's push it down nicely there. Right, this, I'm hoping that will be a nice, oh, there's, I did show you that, didn't I? So you could perhaps put things under it. I don't know how good it is. I think big things would look good under that. Would be better under there than little things, actually. So I'm thinking, yeah, something big would go under there. Let's put something like crazy like that. Why is it not going under? Is it stuck on something? Oh. Yeah, something like that. Something like that would be much better than something small in a big huge belly band like that so some ephemera that somebody could journal on perhaps behind there yeah what am i doing here what's happening yeah i think so so there you go there's your little i mean you could even write the word notes on the or, or, or obviously you can stick the word i'm going to write the word notes because i do yeah with my with my special writing that hope I'm hoping will work on camera. That'll do, won't it? Then if it's at an end and it doesn't have to be in the middle and you don't have to um, be bothered about whether it fits it fits in the space. That's why I did it like that. So you can put words on here as well. It's very pretty, don't it? I'm really pleased with how pretty it looks. I'm quite a I'm quite I like pretty myself. I like pretty and I like bright and I like grungy and I like, I actually do like um, vintagey things, but I don't often do them because I'm not very good at, um, I sort of intend to start off like that, but it doesn't turn out like that, does it? No. But anyway, there we go. How about that? And I can also, you can also doodle any way you like. Doodly, because I like doodling, don't you? <laughs> doodling, yeah. So doodling is all that doodling is. What's doodling? It is lines, dots, blobs and circles. Basically, isn't it? So any of those. And that should stay. You could actually staple it, I suppose, and um, stick 
things on top of the staples if you don't like the looks. Or you could leave it bare and, and, and make it a feature. There we go. So I do hope you like my content today. And please give me a thumbs up. That would be absolutely... Thumbs up. You gave me two thumbs up if you could do. <laughs> that would be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. And also... Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That would be amazing. Thank you. And goodbye.